Getting ready to open up? This weekend. Uh, that'd be real nice having a store right there. Well, good luck. Thanks. Hey, Lou, what brings you to town? Heath Barkley sent me in from the mine. He wants me to tell you they'll be coming in tomorrow night with a load of gold for the San Francisco Mint. Well, the San Francisco train don't leave till 9 o'clock. I, I ain't sitting around watching it. <laughs> They'll have their own guards. Oh. When? Tomorrow night, about supper time. How much, amigo? 50,000. I sure don't mind getting my fingers dirty for that kind of money. Take it right through to Merced on tomorrow morning's train. That is, if it doesn't go through the floor of the baggage car. <laughs> what do you got in that trunk, rocks? It feels like it sometimes. No, uh, I'm a book salesman. These are my samples. Oh. <laughs> Seems to me if I was going to go on the road, I'd get me a line of feathered pillows. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish I had. Step over to the desk and I'll make out your receipt. like the canary I had when I was a child. I remember. You called it Bo Peep. Well, she named him Sassafras. Sassafras was my cat. That's right. It was Sassafras. I remember he was one with a pleased expression on his face when Bo Peep disappeared. Only because you left him out of the cage. Mm-hmm. Elaine? Victoria? <laughs> Elaine Baxter! Oh! Oh! Elaine! Well, Oh, it's been so long. How have you been? Just fine, fine. Oh, Elaine, I want you to meet my daughter, Audra. Audra? My Hello. son, Nick. Howdy. Elaine and I have been friends, good friends, for many years. Now, what on earth are you doing in Stockton? Well, well this is our store. We're opening it. <gasps> oh, I never wrote you. Oh, well, I got married three years ago in Denver. I'm Mrs. Bert Jason now. Oh. <laughs> oh, come inside. I want you to meet Bert. Come on. I think you better make that a gross... Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Jason. Bert, can you break away? Excuse me. Yes, sir. Oh, well, Victoria, you're so good to see you. Bert, this is Victoria Barkley, one of my oldest and dearest friends. How do you do, Bert? It's a surreal pleasure. Elaine has spoken of you often. And this is her daughter, Audra, and um, do do? her son, Nick. Nick, yes, I'm sorry. Glad to meet you, Nick. Same here. Why didn't you let me know you were coming here? Well, I was going to, but uh, well, we had to get set up and get the store open. Uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Jason, I'll have these things for you first of the week, uh, if you care to pay for them now. Well, here, I'll just sign and you can send me a statement. Oh, uh, well, you see, my company has a regulation about that. What kind of a regulation? So, gentlemen, this uh, sounds like business, and I have some other things I have to attend to, so uh, if you'll excuse me. Certainly. Mother, Audra, I'll meet you at the delivery stable in about a half hour, all right? You see, Mr. Jason, it's not that we don't want new business, no, sir. What not... is the problem? Oh, well, ma'am, it's just you don't seem to have your credit established over at the bank as yet, and... Well, that'll take just a few weeks. We have to open first, start making money. Oh, I understand, Mr. Jason, but, uh, you see, while the 
with the company, that's something else again. They feel if you don't have your credit established right off, why... Well, what you're saying is that we're a bad risk. Oh, no, no, not at all. Oh, no, sir. But, uh... uh well, you just get set up and, and you let me know, and uh, I'll be glad to take an order. Well, uh, good day. How are we supposed to get the merchandise we need without credit? Oh, Bert, there are other companies. We'll make it. Of course you will. Stockton is a growing town and we can use you here. Thank you, Victoria. Audrey, we must be going. Now, we're going to be your very first customers. Only if you will have dinner with us as soon as you can. We promise. Don't we? Bye. Oh, excuse me, ladies. Good afternoon. I'm terribly sorry we're not open yet for business. Yes, I know. I gathered that from the sign outside in the window, but I was hoping you'd sort of make an exception in my case. No, I'm sorry. We're not open until the weekend. Oh, that's too bad. You see, I need these things for tonight. Tonight? Yes, I can't wait for the weekend. Well, let me see your list. Um, see your shovels, pickaxes, shoring boards, uh, buckets, kerosene, or bird, uh, we have all of this in the basement. We can take care of this gentleman. I'd be very much obliged. Will you want all this stuff now? No, no, no. Uh, you can take your time, gather them together. I'll come back around supper time and pick them up. That's all right. Well, that'll be fine. We'll, uh, we'll have it ready then. That's most kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Bert, Jason, I'm going to have to give you lessons in salesmanship. This is quite a big order, whether we're open for business or not. Well, aren't you pleased? Sure, I'm pleased. Well, let's get these things out. It'll be supper time soon. Come on. I am. Ha! You mean you were. I understand you were in Stockton today. How come you didn't stop in and say hello? Oh, Audrey and I had so many errands to do. I, I don't know where the time went to. Well, Nick tells me you ran into an old friend. Yes, I didn't. It was quite a surprise. She was Elaine Baxter. Of course, her name now is Elaine Jason. Anyhow, she and her husband are opening a general store here in Stockton. Oh? Well, the town could use another general store. We certainly could. Bandy's is always running out of things. I think they'll do very well. With a little help getting started. Why don't we give them a party and introduce them to all our friends? Well, I'm sure they would appreciate that, but they need much more than customers right now. What? Credit. Why haven't they talked to the bank? Mm-hmm. So did I. But it seems the Jasons have run into a lot of bad luck. The, uh, the store in Denver burned down, and the one they opened in Albuquerque, they had to close that one, too. They were weathered in for two months. The bank agreed that it wasn't their fault, but they still couldn't help them. Hmm. Well, banks are supposed to be cautious institutions, you know. It seems to me that what your friends need is someone substantial to guarantee their credit. Well, as a matter of fact, I was going to bring up that matter at dinner tonight. Uh-huh. Well, now, do you think they're a good risk? Yes, I do. Well, I don't. Bert Jason. That uh, name rang a bell with me this afternoon when I first heard it, so I'm checking into it. Well, what did you find out? Here it is, all here. Bert Jason, six years ago, Oklahoma Territory. Armed robbery. No conviction. Five years ago, he shot down a man in Dodge City in self-defense. At the same time, he was running around with an outlaw by the name of Frank Colder. Well, Nick, what does that prove? <laughs> what does it prove? Jared, self-defense, no conviction. Now, you're the lawyer. Tell us what it means. Well, very simply, it means he's as free a man as anybody else. But don't you think it's kind of strange that your friend would marry a man like that? Well, maybe she didn't know about him, or, or maybe he's changed. Oh, Nick, if you were there today, you saw him. What did he look like to you, a killer, an outlaw? Mother, you can't judge a man by the way he looks. My father, your grandfather, and Elaine's father were prospectors together. When my father was killed in the mine collapse, Elaine's family took me in. They didn't have to, but they did. They saw to my upbringing, my schooling, everything. Now, I want to help them. I'll take full responsibility. Well, now, I don't think that'll be necessary. After all, we still are a family, aren't we? 
I think if Heath were here, he would agree, too. I think we're all in agreement. Thank you. By the way, Nick, a uh, writer came down with a message from Heath. He'll be in tomorrow night with that shipment of gold, $50,000 worth. Well, that means we're going to be on guard duty at the depot. All night. <laughs> You. Please. We have everything ready for you. Bert, do you have the bill? Uh, no. I thought it was here somewhere. Just keep your mouth shut and don't you make any noise. Don't try nothing. What? What is this, Bert? I don't know. Just... Do as he says, Elaine. That's good advice, Mrs. Jason. I suggest you take it. Relax now, folks. We're going to be visiting with you for a while. <laughs> 